This orange looks good on me, doesn't it? I think it's because of the color of my skin. I want to show more skin in it. Don't be repulsed. I don't wear it like this because I have to. I wear it like this because I want to. In the midst of all these oranges, a change like this serves a very good purpose, my survival. And if you're looking at me and thinking, poor boy, he must be someone's bitch, I'm not. Well, I was. I was. But that was before I got here. Here. A home that is far away from the everyday I grew up knowing. Waking up to the cock crowing. Here, behind these walls with a metal door on a metal bed next to a metal toilet within the smells of the laid down shits of others. Here, in a brochi, abroad, in Canada, in prison. I was scared my first night here. I'd heard stories of what happens to men like me within walls like these. I had also heard of how men like me rule within walls like these. I have always wanted to rule in heels. I've been in here 1,123 days, counted in years and months and weeks and days and hours and minutes and seconds and, and regrets and tears and pain and shame and change. In here, the metal bed is cold. Warmth comes from here in my heart beat. Pa pum. Pa pum. Pa pum. One more day. One more day. One more day. It's freedom. Tonight is my last night in here. But it feels like I've been counting all my life. Where I come from, when a child is born, that child is kept indoors for no less than seven days. If that child makes it through the first week, then the beginning of their lives is marked with a ceremony called outdooring, a naming ceremony at which the child is brought out of the house, introduced to family, friends, the community. The child will taste water and alcohol for the first time to learn that though they might look the same, they are different, and never to lie about what they know to be true. The child is then given a name that tells of where they are from and who they are to be. Thirty years ago, a mother was blessed with a child in the likeness of God. Mother sees the makings of a great preacher in this child. She hopes that he'll grow up to become a pastor. Father sees the makings of a great leader in this child. He hopes that he'll grow up to become a lawyer serving justice. A week later, on the day of his outdooring, the child is named Ajimang, he who saves nations. Ajimang follows the word of God. He becomes a lawyer at the age of 24, but at the age of 27, he finds himself in jail. 
tonight, on his last night behind these walls, he is about to reintroduce himself to the world. Akwaba, welcome to my outdooring. Come back with me to Ghana, West Africa, where the young Ajiman was born. <laughs> 